good opening for the market, by the way, after yesterday's move that we saw on the upside. Looks like the pullback continues. 60 points higher for the Nifty now, hanging on to 21,700. The good part is that there is participation from the broader markets as well. The mid-cap index is up 240 points currently. So across the board, actually, the momentum is good. The advanced decline ratio is at 2,000 stocks in favour of advances. What's leading the gains this morning? I'm very curious to see what HDFC Bank's reaction is to the numbers. So let's just get that stock first up on board. Um, <clears throat> okay, in the green, so up half a percent. The, st the street definitely liked those numbers. Prime of AC, as we said, it looked pretty decent. So stock is piling on some weight over there. Apart from that, you have NTPC, LTI, Mindtree, Ultratech Cement, BPCL, ITC that are all in the green. Tech stocks are looking pretty good as well. Tech Mahindra, Wipro are all in the green as well. And then a couple of other names, Tata Steel, Coal India, Dr. Reddy, Tata Motors, all in the green as we speak. On the downside though, some of these consumption names are uh, just under a bit of pressure. Uh, so, you know, something like a Britannia. Then you have Infosys that's flat. Um, Asian Paints as well is down about two tenths of a percent. But just look at the market go now. 85 points high on the Nifty. We were telling you that there are two positives the market is working with today. One is lower Brent crude prices and the other is that FIs have come back in a big way. There was large buying by foreign investors yesterday to the tune of 1,500 crores. We also saw record DMAT accounts in the month of December. So all of this is leading to a positive sentiment uh, in our markets. But broader markets also looking pretty good. Broader markets looking good. And this power story is playing out really well because on uh, the Nifty, it's NTPC, which is leading the charge 2% higher. Beyond the Nifty, it's NHPC because that is a stock which gets an added fillip. The ROE, uh, you know, permissibility levels, the tariffs have been increased by 50 basis points for all new projects for NHPC. And that's working really well for that counter. SJVN should also benefit I mean, incrementally for all the hydro projects they put up. So even SJVN is up about a percent thereabouts. Uh, beyond the news flow, let's see what else is um, standing up. A lot of the stocks which have come out with their quarterly updates, uh, they are uh, trending higher. So Kalyan Jewelers, for instance, 4% up despite its breathtaking run. Continues to move up. RBL Bank is up and about. Macrotech Developers is reacting well to the update. Uh, Soba is cooling off right now. Bit of a sell-on news playing out after two absolutely intense days of price action on Soba. Uh, by the way, on the, on the power side, uh, look out for Torrent Power. That stock's also flowing through. So in general, CESC has also got the first positive tick on it. In general, it's turning out to be a very positive start for the power setup. LNT Finance, 1% uh, higher on the update. Uh, JNK Bank, Equitas Small Finance Bank. So all of the BFSI names that have reported numbers, they have uh, started the day on the positive side. Beyond the newsmakers, let me just look out for any other stocks that could be catching the eye. Uh, well, on the mid-cap screen, the index itself is still up about uh, half a percent. So it's uh, pretty good going. Uh, names like Cupid, I mean, some of these uh, lesser talked about stocks. India glycols, uh, so they are uh, up and about. But I think we're building on momentum, Rima. So it's about 80 points <coughs> higher, not, not a bad start at all. Oh, well, absolutely. And in the face of listless, flat global queues, right? Asia is doing absolutely nothing across the various indices. But the Indian markets are continuing with the bounce back from yesterday. And we've added on 85 points. Mid-caps are up. The mid-cap index up more than about 200 points. Very positive advanced decline ratio. Some of the real estate companies are, you know, continuing with that momentum. Uh, we spoke about Macrotech and Sobha. Sobha, of course, has cooled off a tad bit. But India Bulls Real Estate has seen some buying. And you also have Peninsula Land, which is up and about. Um, apart from that, you've got uh, these jewellery companies looking up. So Kalyan Jewellers, which reported a 33% jump in its consolidated sales in Q3, is up 4%. Moti Sons Jewellers, a small company, recent listing, and that's seeing some buying. And that stock has gained close to about 5%. Uh, Dabar. Uh, where they reported the Q3 business update. Uh, the stock has opened with a mild positive bias. Uh, not too much, but just tracking the commentary from the company where they're saying that there is some improvement in consumer demand, though rural continues to lag the urban demand. So Dabur has opened up with a gain of nearly about half a percent. But now NHPC is seeing some aggressive buying, 8.5% higher on NHPC, and it's moved up on very, very large volumes. So that's clearly one of the big stocks of the day.